Hey y'all, welcome to Beyonce's internet. I'm Sharonda and welcome to Brazen Bay Reviews. So during this video, I'll be talking about another book and that book is Couples Wanted by Miss Brianna Cole. Mm -mm -mm. I love these books. They are messy, good messy, but ooh, this one hits a little bit different though, okay? So in this couple, in this book, Couples Wanted, so let me just start off by saying a couple of things. Forgive the ring light that keeps flashing in my glasses. I ain't been on here for a minute because I can't see shit. My my sight is literally like blurry. If I take these glasses off, I actually have to pair. So I just got my new glasses and I, I'm catching up on some reading now. I've been listening to some things as well, but yeah, I've been catching up on some reading too. So yeah, okay, and also there will be some slight warnings of me talking about this book. So if you are the type of person that don't like spoilers of any kind, even if I ain't spilling all of the tea, then this video is not for you. And, you know, stay if you like. Um. So, yeah. So inside of this book, we have a young couple, uh, Bridget and Roman, who is out one night. You know, they role-playing, newly married, two-year marriage or whatever. And, you know, they out doing their little role-playing thing or whatever. And they meet up with another couple who has been married a little bit longer than them. I think it was like five or seven years. So either way, they run into uh, Corrine and Patrick. So what happens is, okay... Bridget and Corrine meet first because Bridget, they meet in the ladies' room. Got a meeting in the ladies' room. Any other way. It's, it wasn't that kind of meeting, but any other way. So if you know the song, you know the song and you get what I'm saying. But um, so, you know, they're in the bathroom. Bridget C. Corrine is going through, you know, some emotion. You know, as one black woman to another black woman, you know, she's, you know, either being nosy or she's really concerned, you know, just trying to like, you know, get some good vibes, you know, hey, you doing, you all right, blah, 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 whatever. And, you know, they meet that way. But y'all, it's a setup. It is a setup. I always say Brianna Cole books. Why is it a setup, girl? I was sitting there reading like, why is it a setup? This is another book of hers that I finished within 24 hours because it was chow. So, um, so inside of this book, you know, they meet in a bathroom or whatever. And then this meeting between them actually leads to these two couples wife swapping. Um, and th this leads to some other shit, um, inside of the book as well. But they're a child, the way this book was set up, I was just like, girl. But, uh, so, what happens is after they meet in the bathroom, it's pretty much like a setup, okay? Corrine is pretty much pushed to meet Bridget because that's what her husband wants, okay? And when they when these two couples decide to go inside of this uh, wife swamp thing, it is kind of like, you know, both these women, are, they have their reservations, but it's pretty much like, you know, they're going to do what they need to do to keep their husbands happy, keep peace in the house, you know, things like that. You know, something they husbands want, that's what they want to do. And with Bridget, she's, you know, she's a little bit open-minded, you know what I mean? Um, you know, trying to keep her marriage, you know, fresh and stuff like that. So, you know, she goes into it as well. You know, it really wasn't no, you know, they had their reservations, but it really wasn't no, you know, screaming and fighting or, any, you know, pushing, you know, you know, like, get your ass, you know what I mean? It was kind of like that, you know what I mean? So, y'all... This book had all the layers. I was not even expecting it. Outside of Brianna Cole's general, like, messiness that goes on with people, you know, that, for me, I feel like people set themselves up with these things, you know, when they decide to do these things. Because, you know, yeah, sometimes you can go into a, a relationship just for the sex and come out of it, you know, or go into it or come out of it with no emotions, you know, depending on the type of person you are. But these people inside this book, there was awesome emotional motherfuckers and it was a whole lot of shit going on inside of this book okay and you know it's just a theme of you know do you think do you really do you really think you know your spouse or your partner you know you know whatever y'all driving with you know what i mean so it is it, it for bridget and roman that's kind of how it was with bridget because bridget she thought she had you know like the perfect husband she ain't had no drama with him you know outside of the occasional arguments and shit like that you know it wasn't like no real deep drama, no real deep issues between them. 
Black Child Corrine and uh, Patrick, a girl. Now they were on a whole nother level. Now when I tell y'all inside of this book, Corrine was pushed to meet Bridget because that's what her husband wanted. That's literally what I'm talking about. Like her husband was like, you know, because they decided to go inside of this, you know, uh, swingers type lifestyle with, of course, the husband picking the the uh, couple or the, you know, the married woman or, you know, woman that he sees with another man, you know, he's picking this person that he wants his wife to, you know, kind of like set up, you know what I mean? And this is what happens. And <sighs> Corrine's and Patrick relationship was something else. Okay, also inside of this book, Corrine is a transgender woman, okay? And now her and Patrick are having problems because when Pat, once Patrick finds out that his wife is transgender, he is, uh, he's having some issues with it, you know, typical cis, cis male, cis men, just terrible people. Um, but, uh, you know, he's having issues with it and he's taking these issues. For me, reading this book with Patrick, I was just like, if you don't want to be with this woman, then leave. Divorce her. You know what I mean? But he would not. Um, and he, he and, and instead of him leaving her, leaving the relationship, he took his self depreciating feelings about himself and their relationship and he put that shit out on Kareem. You know, it was through all kinds of abuse. Physical, emotional, verbal. He just was not a good husband to Kareem. And Kareem, who grew up in abuse, you know, coming out of an abusive household with her mother and stuff like that, Corrine just wanted to be loved. She wanted someone to love her. And, you know, Patrick was, you know, Patrick was fine with everything before he found out that she was transgender. So Corrine, in her desperation to, you know, to be loved or have someone love her back, she stayed in this relationship with Patrick. And she decided to, to do these things with Patrick, to have this swingers lifestyle with Patrick, you know, because that's what he wanted. You know what I mean? And her thing was, you know, if I do these things for him, if I keep doing these things for him, he's going to love me. He's going to love me the way he wants to, and, you know, the way he used to. And we're going to go back to our happy, you know, happy home. And that shit ain't never paying out in this book, y'all. It was a mess. But what was unsuspected inside of this book was... Bridget and Roman because I feel like with Corrine's and Patrick's character you are getting what you are getting you know what I mean Bridget and Roman were totally unpredictable characters especially Roman Roman comes off as a very loving caring person um you know good to his wife good to his husband you know his friends good to his family things like that you know he's a doctor the, 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 you know upstanding man but Roman Mm, you know what I mean? Because this wife swamp leads to him, to him and Corrine basically, you know, cheating on their spouses with, you know, with the, each other. And, uh, you know, when Roman finds out that uh, Corrine is a transgender woman, he is a typical man. He is angry. Um, he is upset. And, you know, I, I'm not going to give y'all like a full tea, but he does some really treacherous shit inside of this book. And I was just like, somebody need to beat his ass. Okay. And this is, when, this is when Bridget realizes that, you know, the man she thought she married or the man she thought she had isn't exactly that. You know, so that just goes back to my thing of saying, you know, who you think you're with or what you, you know, who you think the person, you know, that you're with is, isn't. Because by the end of this book, Roman did a... a Girl, he had me. I was just like, what? You know, he was a complete and total POS. Okay. Like, for me, him and Patrick were 
on the same level. Um, but again, with Patrick, you already knew what you were getting when you go inside of this book. You know, he wants shit. You know what I mean? And you knew that, you know. But also, you know, you know, and, you know, we want to make the women inside of these, in this book, you know, uh, innocent characters. And they pretty much both are. Bridget is a very... Uh, she's a very kind, sweet person, you know what I mean? And she just wants the best for her marriage and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Bridget had her ways too because she has a business and she's in business with one of her best friends. And she does some treacherous, treacherous shit inside this book, like going behind her best friend's back, doing some more sneaky kind of shit. And it kind of like almost destroys that relationship. And, you know, a, a friendship does develop between Corrine and Bridget, but it's kind of not like that trusted, especially with the situation of, of, you know, sharing partners and, you know, cheating situation and all that other stuff. And Corrine, I felt for Corrine inside of this book, but Corrine did some treacherous shit inside of this book. She did it more towards Bridget than anything. And and again, I uh, it, it is not excused for the things that she did towards Corrine inside of this. I'm sorry, the things that she did towards Bridget inside of this book. But with Corrine, because of her past and her present and, you know, what she's currently going to, through and what she's dealing with as a transgender woman, you can understand why she's doing the things that she's doing inside of this book, you know? Um, this book is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, the conversations she has inside of this book, you know, especially when cis men, um, you know, find out, uh, you know, that, you know, their partner or, you know, someone that they had a, a sexual relationship is transgender, transgender, why the fuck can I talk? Transgender, you know, how their perception of that woman changes and how their perception of themselves change as well because of outside influences, you know, instead of them, you know, I'm just a big strong man. You know, there was a thing that Roman, when Roman found out that, um, Corrine was transgender. He kept saying, I'm not gay. And it was just like, sir, I'm, I'm really need for some of y'all to pick up a book and learn some things. But anyway, but you know, it, it was, you know, just that. And I feel like with Roman, it, it was just like, you know, how society drills into men's head. Like, you know, if you, if you sleep with another man or, you know, you're attracted to another man and things like that, you know, things that you learn, little boys learn from, you know, until they're grown men, you know, they're, you know, they're gay, they're homosexual, you know, things like that. And it's just really just a sad situation, you know, and it was just a sad situation all around inside of the book. Um, I do believe the light inside of this book was towards the end when Bridget and Corrine were able, you know, once the dust settled and the bullshit was over how Bridget and Corrine were able to become friends out of that toxic situation you know um it was you know and i love the fact that she that she wrote bridget as a woman a straight woman who was willing to look outside of her own shit and realize that yeah corinne did some fucked up shit to me but you know she went through some fucked up shit too, especially, you know, when she finds out about Corrine's situation towards the end of the book, how she was able to step outside, uh, step outside of her own shit and realize like, we all, you know, we're, we're both, you know, going through some shit and how she, they kind of like embraced each other and how like Corrine realized that, oh, you know, I fucked up, you know what I mean? And, you know, she, went to Bridget and apologized for her fuck ups. But for me, it really was just Bridget, just like, you know, like it's not so much as it is what it is, but you know, we're women, we're in this together and you know, we really are our own keepers and we have to look out for, for each other, even when it comes to men, the men in our lives that we are dealing with, you know what I mean? So I love that she had that uh, inside of the book.
you know what I mean? Especially with these current conversations going on, you know, with black uh, black women, black cis women, straight women, whatever you want to call it, and black trans women and all kind of like this friction and stuff like that. And it's kind of like at the end of the day, yeah, we all need to realize that we are all women and we are all in this together. You know what I mean? And trans women are out here being murdered, you know, and we need, and as straight cis black women we need to look outside our own shit and realize like what you know what is this person doing what can i do to contribute to both our healing you know not just mine but what can i do can contribute to hers how can i help her and i love that she made bridget that way at the end of this book um but yeah this is such a good book it's really good um, I really, I mean, just like outside of the messiness and the shit that was going on inside of this book, like the, 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 the details and, and the backstories, uh, God, child, especially with Corrine and Patrick. And then you, girl, and then when you find out what Patrick is doing, oh my God, bitch, you're just like, Patrick, you son of a black bitch. Like, what is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like you have an issue with your wife, but you doing that? Sir, sir. And then the other thing is inside this book that pissed me off. So we have a return of, y'all remember Dorian from The Marriage Pass? His old trifling ass is inside of this book because he happens to be uh, Roman's best friend. And he ain't much inside of the story, but you see him because of the situation that happened. If y'all ain't read The Marriage Pass, go read that book and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Why he's staying in Roman basement. <laughs> Here's my issue with Dorian. You ain't shit. Because outside of you just being a fucked up person, how, even if you were able to clock Corrine's teeth, even if you knew just by looking at her, because he was a, he, he was a plastic surgeon, the way he called her out was trash. And then not just, like I said, not only are you a fucking trash person, but as a doctor, how you do that, sir? Hmm? How's that ethical, what you did? I wanted somebody to beat his ass. I hope whatever book she add Dorian in next, he get his ass beat. I hope somebody beat his ass from the rooter to the tutor. Because, sir, how dare you? Especially as a doctor. You clock that lady T like that. And caused harm to her caused her harm I, yeah, that shit tripped me up because I was like I know he just did not Whew. anyway deep book trigger warnings for this book content warning for the books there is uh, cheating okay there is abuse uh, physical uh, emotional verbal abuse mentioned inside of this book um uh, you know yeah so but like for me the main ones that people might may have an issue with is uh you know the cheating and you know the abuse that goes on inside of the book but uh yeah y'all need to go Y'all need to go pick up this book. It is so good. And, you know, uh, she has, like, discussion cup questions inside of this book. Um, you know, so good uh, book club pick as well for those, you know, that are in book clubs and you want to read something a little bit different. Definitely check out Brianna Cole's book. So, yeah, that's it for me. I didn't do too bad, right? I didn't do too, too, too bad with the uh, spilling of the tea. You know what I mean? But, yeah. girl <laughs> but yeah um i cannot wait to dip more into brianna cole books uh, i think she is a great writer i think she touches upon stories that uh you know not only that people want to read but people really need to read you know what i mean because you know like i said you are getting some mess and some drama inside of this book but you know like the backstories that go on behind the mess and the drama girl couldn't even do my damn job today. Bad enough I was up last night trying to finish the damn book, but then me trying to read and people like, but yes, read this book when y'all have a moment and that is it for me. And until the next one.